So database function is very important. As I'm showing you here, what does your database do? Does it do OLTP activity or data warehouse activity? An OLTP database requires very high concurrency and a data warehouse requires what they call high throughput, which is lots and lots of stuff going on all at once and long processes. Do you need reliability? What is called zero loss potential. In other words, if your database breaks, do you need to be able to bring it back up straight away? Do you need multiple copies of it? Etc. Etc. Limited disk capacity. Do you have lots and lots of different disks? Do you have RAID array structures? What do you have? It, it depends on what you can afford to buy in terms of I.O. architecture that really determines partially how you set your structure up. Methods of distribution. You can do manual or OS managed type distribution. You can use striping and mirroring. Striping is where you take files and you split them into pieces and you operate on the different pieces at the same time. Mirroring is where you duplicate I.O structures. In other words, you make multiple copies of files of databases. You can use RAID arrays. The RAID array, you can split up the way you access those disks based on pieces within the disks or across the separate disks. You can use striping as RAID 0, mirroring as RAID 1, striping and mirroring combined together with RAID 0 plus 1, and RAID 5 is striping and reliability. The exact details of how the different RAID structures work and there are many more of them available, is not really within the bounds of this particular course. You can also use Oracle Managed Files. What happens is Oracle manages all the data files, all the control files, all the redo logs, distribution, splitting them up, and the different file names. It's very easy to maintain, but it can be extremely slow.